What's up guys, Amiga here and welcome to GT7 where a murderer has been released onto the grounds of Spa this week in Daily Race C. He's absolutely determined to ruin everybody and anybody's race as you can see from the footage here. I don't make dirty driver videos very often but he did feature in my only other one on the channel which was now over three months ago. So I've been grinding Spa this week pretty hard to get my DR up. As you can see, I'm a decent way into A-plus here. After this little run-in with this driver, I get a full DR reset, back to A-driver rating, and my SR has been smashed down to B. And it's all thanks to this man, Super Sugataku, who has a reputation of not only being dirty, but also being quite quick, which is very annoying because he's in A-plus lobbies. And according to his own account, he's a famous clean racer in Japan. Every clean racer. And I said that I am aware, say hi to YouTube. After which he promptly left the room. So just for a bit of context here, I'm just doing some daily races off stream, trying to work up some DR. We've been having great races here. And as you can see, most of the racing has been clean. Although there has been a lot of incidents this week, but nothing like this. So I'm just going about my lap. On the first lap, this guy gets the run on me. So I give him the position after the straight. And coming into this corner i go to take the normal line this man was dead set on a dive bomb which i was not expecting and then he proceeds to push me off and then finish the job so that is my race ruined basically so from second all the way down the pack and by the time i straighten up and get back on the track i'm in dead last so that is how my race began and now let's switch over to Mr. Sugitaku, who is just about to begin the race. And his name does appear like this, as I use the nicknames, not the PSN ID. But it is definitely the same guy. And within not even 10 seconds into this race, he slams on the brakes to brake check someone off the line. So this is just the beginning. We did have a race with this guy previously, and he was fine, which is very weird. Uh, but this second race that we had with him, he was not so fine. And skipping ahead to Puhan here, just after this guy killed me, he gets taken out, sent wide, and that kicks off a battle between these two, basically, and this is what starts to happen. This is what he does. He did it in the last video as well. He just starts trouble with someone and then just doesn't leave them alone. He's relentless. Moving forward a bit, he takes a big dive bomb here, takes the guy out again, and he's swerving to block and cause chaos to, with everybody. And basically everyone behind him here now becomes a victim. He's just blocking everyone, rejoining the track and taking people out, just causing absolute chaos as he does, not letting people pass. And if you haven't noticed already, this guy is also actually on the medium tire, which if you've been doing this race at all this week, you'll know that it is not the strategy. The medium tire is available, but the hard no stop is definitely faster. But I assume in this guy's mind, he wants to have the advantage to be able to catch people very easily. So he knows before the race even starts, he is going to absolutely cause carnage in this lobby. Now, what he loves to do is break check people to give them a penalty, and he's actually very good at it unfortunately so you can see here coming into the last chicane he brake checks this guy and then coming into turn one this guy knows exactly what he's going to do so he just lets him by and coming up to the end of the long straight he absolutely slams the brakes on swerves in front of this other guy just drives straight across the track which yields him a one second penalty and he's just blocking again and this guy's had enough of him as well most people by this stage know who he is and this is actually where i come into play so I already know this guy's game. I know what he's going to do here. I don't want to do anything, but I go to take Puhan as you normally do. And he jumps in and pushes me wide and then decides he's going to hit me and force me off track. So he uses counter steer assist, but it's on very weak. So it's very subtle, uh, but it really makes it difficult if you don't use the assists. He easily punts you and there's not really much you can do about it. So that's the first incident. And basically at this stage, I have had enough. I already know this guy. I've seen what he's been doing. My race has already been ruined, but now I know it just has absolutely no chance of recovery. And to be quite honest, I'm pretty sick of dirty drivers. And this isn't just one of those things where it's an accident. I can deal with that. But this guy is very clearly on a mission to make everybody's race an absolute living hell. So switching to my view now, here he is just in front here. And this is the first 
first brake check right on the apex of that corner, which causes me to get hit from behind as well. And this right here just shows exactly the guy's mindset. Going into Eau Rouge, he absolutely tries to take this guy out. I get caught up in it. I cop a three second penalty for rear ending the other guy. And so I carry on trying to get as far away from this guy as possible. But I do know that it's pretty inevitable he's going to catch me again because I have the penalty. And this is what makes this guy so hard to deal with. He's a master at knowing how to play the penalty system. So he keeps you in his grasp, basically. Jump ahead here to where I serve my penalty there he goes there but he is slowing down to wait for us because this is what he does he taunts people and he's really determined just to ruin your race I honestly don't know what to do about this I don't know how to get him banned I've tried the in-game reporting system uh, if anybody has any idea feel free to let me know because this sort of driving is next level dirty like I said, I've been getting pushed here and there off the track, which, you know, it's frustrating, but you can kind of deal with it. But this sort of stuff, it just completely ruins your race. And as you've seen, my DR and SR got absolutely annihilated because I end up retaliating here, which I do not condone at all. But this guy really did it to me. He pushed me over the edge and I just kind of had enough. So unfortunately... I didn't react the greatest this time around. So here you can see he's brake checking. He's going purposely very slow through the corners. The other fella tries to overtake us and he brakes and swerves. And this is where I sort of start thinking, okay, I, I want to make this guy's race as difficult as possible. So I try to take him out there. It was a pretty bad attempt, but I do cop a three second penalty for it. So this is what I mean. And this is where I believe I became his prime target because as you can see, he's waiting for me, slowing right down, which honestly at this point, I really didn't care. I knew that this was gonna be bad. And I had friends in this race, so I just wanted to make sure that this guy could not do any more damage to anyone else. So if that means he targets me, then it is what it is. But I'm also gonna do my best to try and take him out of the race completely. Unfortunately, at the expense of my own DR, SR, and all the rest of it. So here you can see he basically comes to a stop. I send him into the shadow realm, but my car is completely ruined. I have like six seconds worth of penalties now. It's really not good. I'm very annoyed by this stage. And skipping forward just a touch after I've recovered. You can see here again, massive brake check, sends me spinning and adds to my penalties. So I'm now up to eight seconds worth of penalties and coming up to serve the penalties. You can see he's just there waiting for me on the track. So I didn't want to quit the race because I wanted to get the replay to make sure that everybody sees this because it's absolutely ridiculous. And here you can see he's waiting for me. So I try to smash him off the track kind of works but then I get reset to behind him and I also come up with another penalty and again waiting for me and it's at this stage that I actually pause the game decide okay I'm going to turn all of my assists on I turn on counter steer assist and active stability management and this is where I really decide that I'm going to ruin this guy's race and I become the shameful rammer to quote the goat send him flying off turn one but that obviously causes me to get a penalty he doesn't catch me until here I serve my penalty we'll the end of the lap tries to ram me there but i'm still ghosted from the penalty so coming up to the final chicane he's waiting he's weaving he's just doing what he does taunting me so i start to swerve back and now i know i've got my assists on so he's going to have a very difficult time ramming me properly and this is basically where i finish his race i know that i need to spin him out and not get a penalty and run away because by this stage everyone else is long gone so if i can get him here and get away he can't ruin anyone else's race because he's going to be ghosted for the whole rest of the race for any anybody who's lapping him or anything so right here i hit him just right send him spinning i actually thought that i pitted him here because he does show up in the pit now i do actually get a three second penalty here but i did annihilate him and for whatever reason he decides he's going to try to go back down the track so i think at this stage he's kind of given up he decides he's going to drive backwards and try to go into the pits which pops him back out onto the middle of the track so his race is ruined now. He cannot cause any more chaos. He doesn't know what to do. He's just reversing. And then he's gonna try and pit again, which is not going to work. He's just panicking a bit here, I think. Pops him back out on track again. He's got a six second penalty, so he's done. He's absolutely done. He's out of the race. I got a DR reset, but I honestly don't really care. As long as I got this guy out of the race and away from anybody else, then it is what it is. So this guy is probably the worst dirty driver that I've ever seen. 
I mean, I don't know if Kimi is this bad. This is definitely the epitome of a very dirty driver. Like I said, I don't normally do these videos, but this guy, he deserves to be outed, mass reported, whatever we have to do, I don't know. Let me know in the comments below what you think should be done about this, how we can go about it. Also, don't forget to like and subscribe for future content. Thank you guys so much for watching. Stay safe out there, and I'll catch you in the next one. Cheers.